I've been stuck in the exact same loop. That false sense of confidence doing things that are unimportant, yet still getting recognition for it, and it is so detrimental, you have no idea. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name's Artie, and this is The Moving Average. The week has come to an end, and you guys know what time it is. Let's get into Focus Fridays. If you guys are unfamiliar with the show, every Friday I like to drop a little bit of motivation and inspiration for you to help you progress in your life. There are many things in life that give you a false sense of achievement and a false sense of accomplishment. I'm gonna discuss two in this video that pertain to me and people in my age group, and then a third one that is in the up and coming generation. The first one that I wanna talk about is college and higher education. Everybody, your parents, your friends, everybody pushes this need for higher education. You need a college degree to get a good job, to get you know a good salary. All of these things, you get so immersed in college and academia that unfortunately is toxic in your life. The ability for a human being to absorb information and regurgitate it on a piece of paper that's known as a test to prove your ability to, I don't know, memorize is not proof that you are more intelligent. It is proof that you can follow the rules. And with this, with you know, finishing middle school, finishing high school, going to college, getting your bachelor's degree, all of these things are giving you a reward at the end of it, a diploma. That diploma gave you a sense of achievement and accomplishment. All of that hard work had a payoff at the end. It is your treat, it is your reward. When you make a puppy sit, you give him a treat. He will do it again. Society is conditioning us to follow the rules, and if you follow the rules, you will get your treat. The issue with this is, is that we get addicted to the treat. So after you get your bachelor's degree or even before if you get your associate degree, you want to continue to get that treat because you're like, cool, I know the structure, I'm good at it, I want my next reward. So what's the next step after a bachelor's degree? You go and get your master's degree. After you've gotten your diploma for that, you've gotten your treat, you think, hmm, I've finished school and yet I'm still struggling to find a job. I'm not sure if this is the right career path. And you start talking yourself out of actually having action and doing in your life. So what you revert back to is the old system of work and reward, the school and the treat, the diploma. And then you go back and you get your doctorate degree. Once you've gone through the years and hard work and painstaking agony of getting your doctorate, you get that treat again and you have that sense of accomplishment. But you don't realize that you've literally wasted so much time in your life. At that point, you have your doctorate, right? And society tells you that you should be able to get the best paying jobs of all time. But what if that's not even the career path you actually are interested in anymore? Thinking about it makes you wanna vomit. You don't wanna work for somebody else. What, what's the alternative? What's the one thing that you know better than anything else? It's school, because you've spent your entire life doing it. And so the default for most people that get their doctorate degree is to become a teacher at an institution or a college that you just spent the last 10 years at. This is why they say those who can do and those who cannot teach. This is my issue with college and higher education in general. If I'm learning about the financial industry from my finance professor, why is he only making $37,000 a year as a teacher versus actually like, I don't know, working for JP Morgan? I always look at who I'm learning from and why they aren't doing it if it's so good. And all it is, is that false sense of accomplishment keeping you from doing it. They are the chains, the handcuffs that keep society locked down. And for you to have the unlock that happened to me years ago, that's what helps you start to think outside of the box. Being able to develop your 
own personality and your own ambition and your own drive to do certain things, even if society and your friends say this isn't the norm, why are you wasting your time with that? I can promise you right now they are 100% wrong. I'm going to take a famous YouTuber for example, Mr. Beast. You guys have probably heard of him. He spent a good, I don't know, from age 13 to 19 making videos with very little results for the amount of work that he was putting into it. But because he was thinking outside of the box and doing something that he actually wanted to do, like you've seen his videos, you've seen how passionate he is about YouTube, but a lot of people along the way are asking, well, when are you gonna go to college? Where, what are you gonna do with your life? He said, I just wanna make YouTube videos. That's all I ever wanna do. That's all I ever wanted to do. Because he was so committed to it. He was so committed to thinking outside of the box because it's what made him happy. Society is still trying to push him down to fit him into that social norm box, that go to college box, that become a lawyer, you know, doctor, whatever. That box keeps you trapped from actually exploring and doing things that you know, other humans haven't done or has a much higher financial potential. So not only are people, you know, in my age group or a little bit younger getting stuffed into these social norm boxes, which keep them handcuffed, they are also in the United States accumulating massive, and I mean massive amounts of student loan debt. So you're not getting these rewards for all of this education that you're doing, you are paying for it to get a diploma. The system is so broken that you cannot even file bankruptcy to get out of student loan debt. It is unavoidable. You have to pay that off. You cannot bankrupt out of it. And a side note, I genuinely believe that the amount of student loan debt that is floating around right now with the lack of jobs is going to create a massive financial crisis in the near future. That's a topic for another video. Now the next and most common false sense of accomplishment or achievement that most people are addicted to is video games. I was completely and utterly obsessed with World of Warcraft. I am a nerd at heart and I own it. I started out at level one, then I got to level 10, then I got a riding mount, then I could fly, then I got awesome armor, then I was raiding in 10 and 25 man raids, and I had the most epic gear, and I had all of the achievements, you know, and every week I would spend hundreds of hours in this world gaining these achievements and having this false sense of accomplishment that made me feel better because at the core of it, I was unsatisfied with my life and you could see it in my old pictures of me, completely ungroomed, overweight, obese, unhealthy, sad, depressed with anxiety. Yet that breakaway from that normal world, that depressing world, into the world of video games where I was a wizard or a warrior, where I had all of the achievements, I had tons of money. That world was my breakaway because my actual existence was dissatisfying. What is the point of all of this that I'm telling you right now? In order to make dramatic change in your life, in order to get you to the place where you want to be, you have to remove all of those exterior false sense of achievements. You have to achieve in real life. You have to actually have things that you are proud of you doing, whether it is you learning a new language, whether it is you learning how to backflip on you know, a bicycle, whether it is you being financially independent through creating your own small business, coffee shop, small deli, it does not matter but you need actual real life sense of accomplishment. And the only way that that happens is if you put away the silly things like video games. And I hate to say this because it's, it's got, it carries such a negative connotation globally with parents, with the people that brought us up. College, in my opinion, is a complete and utter waste of money and time. You could be doing and self-educating and growing yourself much more than you could with a college degree. Every job I took after college was an entry-level job, which I did not need a degree for. So I could have started four or five years earlier at that entry-level job 
and had more success in the same amount of time without the $126,000 of student loan debt. This takes a commitment from you. This takes a commitment to doing things in real life every single day, those baby steps that are gonna get you to that level of real life achievement. And once you get to that level, you look for the next achievement and you always have a roadmap to continue progressing in your life. Because as you guys know from my chart, that there is a level of happiness versus the level of success and which trajectory you're taking in your life, whether it's downwards or whether it's upwards. Now, the new and up and coming trend to keep society in their handcuffs is affecting people at a younger age and it absolutely repulses me that they're starting people so young now. When I was a kid, you know, we'd have soccer matches at school or whatever, baseball games, football games, and there was a winner and then there was a loser. The loser got nothing. They got the L and then they had to get better. It pushed them to get better. The winner went on to challenge the other teams to try to prove who is the best. And along the way, they either got the win or the L. Nowadays, kids from both sides get the W because there is no winner and loser. There is no point structure. They are giving this false sense of achievement because they participated. It is ridiculous to think that someone can get better when everyone is equal. Life is a competition. We've always had competition. It pushes the limits of what humans think that they're capable of. And one of the best examples I can put to you is the Olympics. The Olympics is a globally known competition between the best athletes in the entire world. And at one point, humans thought it was physically impossible to run a mile in four minutes. But because of the spirit of competition, because of the progression that you get competing against other people, that four minute mile barrier was broken. Once that happened, within the next year, five other people broke the four minute mile as well. Because at that point, they knew it was possible. Which leads me into the conclusion of this video. If you are not in competition with anyone around you, you should be in competition with yourself. How can you beat the one week ago version of you? How can you beat last year's version of you? How can you get to that four minute mile for yourself? Hard work, dedication, and tracking it. Whether it's before and after pictures with weight loss, whether it is a higher balance in your bank account, whatever the thing might be that you can track to become better, to improve, to get those real life achievements, you need to start doing it today. I really hope this video helped some of you guys realize where you're spending your time and motivate yourself. Whether you're doing it for yourself, whether you're doing it for your family and loved ones, whether you're doing it to change the world and really make an impact in society, whether you know you wanna be a philanthropist or a, a great scientist. Like I'm not bashing college because I know that there's requirements for some you know, professions in life, scientists, marine biologists, doctors, lawyers, like those people exist and college is great for those people. And I know that video games, you know, there's gamers out there that make millions of dollars live streaming. And you need to think like, you know, is this the right path for you? For example, for me, video games was that false sense of accomplishment. I liked it. I wasn't gonna be a professional gamer because quite frankly, I sucked. You have to think, the most important asset in life is time. It is finite. Everybody on earth has an expiration date. So I want you guys to really sit back and evaluate what you're doing with your time and where you want to get in the time that you have left here. My goal with these Friday videos is to help as many people as humanly possible just to get better, to, you know, give them that spark in life. So if there's somebody that you know that needs to watch this video, I'd appreciate it if you shared it with them. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't heard my story yet, check out this video right here. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Take time, reevaluate, and come back Monday really strong.